Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more of The Witcher 3 today. And uh, let's see what kind of witching we can do in this episode. Now, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here. And I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. Let's jump into The Witcher 3. Here we go, ladies and gents. Let's play some of this baby. I have a little uh, screen darkening software that'll like darken the uh, secondary monitor, which is really useful. I love that software. <laughs> it's like a really simple piece of software that I uh, that I got. All right, so let's do it. Let us do it. Or not? Hold on. Or possibly not. Let's hear if there's any sounds here. I'm going to put this back on the big screen. There we go. Last time we restarted the PC to make that work, but I guess it was just a uh, a thing with like restarting the actual hard or the, you know like the the functionality or whatever the device in the device manager. There it is. Witcher. Here we go. The witch series quarreled with Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kara in tow. I like the design of this uh, mage guy, the elven mage. He is pretty cool. I bet there's going to be a second part of that once, uh, <laughs> once we get somewhere in the story. Because there's a lot of conspicuous blank space. Ow! That was really loud. <laughs> Don't hurt me, Witcher. Okay, here we go. Oh, a golem. Cool. Ugh, I've a bad feeling about this. Tyrael not recognized. <laughs> Destroy the intruders. Damn it. Oh. This guy's got a big ol' attack there. Ow! Let's see, Quen. Quen's probably good. Maybe Heerden? Here, let him go in the thing. Good stuff, Carol. Ah. And that would be that. I knew we'd manage. That's so. Make sure and tell me beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, creature. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. What's that supposed to mean? There's something making a really loud noise. I think it's that portal in the background. <laughs> Welcome, Frost, to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Frost Fairy joining the show? This might be a quick one, but we're already doing some cool stuff already. We just killed a golem at the beginning. We literally just started the episode, so you haven't missed anything, Frost. How are you doing? Let's see if we can... Can I meditate here? Oh, yeah, baby. Get that potion stores back on point. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? Depends what she wants. Imagined it. How it will transpire. 
What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. At times I forget. We hardly know each other. It's certainly not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. We'll get there. Frost doing very well tonight. That's good to hear. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. We've done a whole bunch of streaming today. We got to do Yakuza. We got to do... Uh, I don't even know what the first stream was, but it was probably something good. And then uh, we did our Japanese stream early on the... Uh, on all the streams today. Feeling pretty good today. You know when you have a day where you just feel like very productive? Oh crap! Ow! He threw a rock at me! Rude! Look at this big old gargoyle. Get out of here. Don't throw things! Uh oh, did I just get poisoned? Got him! Look, they're opening! Let's go. Gavella Glan. What'd she just do? What are your Sunday plans, Frost Fairy? What are you looking forward to? What are you not looking forward to, if anything? Maybe not on Sunday, but on Monday. I might go get some brunch tomorrow. Getting your hair colored, nice. What's uh, What color are you going for? Let me guess, red, yellow, blue, green, all at the same time, that'd be cool. I don't know if it would look would it work? I don't know how hair coloring works. Can you color like an individual strand and then you'd be able to see the color in there? Or would it? you have to do like multiple strands? Blonde from dark brown. Oh, you have dark brown from there. blonde highlights. Must nice. Activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. So you're switching to like full on blonde, you're saying? Look, it was. Come on. Here we go. Fighting time. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Gavella Glan. Oh, you're adding in more blonde to make it a little bit lighter. Nice. That's cool. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the major sentries. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with you. Meaning you ever thought they might have? That's awesome. So the wild hunt is just, they have like frost powers, I guess. Take note, frost. These guys are actual frost fairies. They're literally fairies, like elven fairies that can shoot frost. You're in your element. Froze them before they could attack. Damn, that's such a cool look. The way that they like freeze those guys in place. Through. 
They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demisha Breast Surge. Stand at my side. Dari and Anoy. Wait, let me get that chest. Ready. Okay, now you can go. Damn, this is cool, guys. Send some hearts for Lady with a Bubble Shield. I think it has a fancier name, but I call it the Bubble Shield. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. It's getting pretty loud now. I just want to make sure that it's able to be heard. Frost sending those hearts. Thank you, Frost. Uh-oh. Fighting monsters. We must close them. Want me to go? I'll do it. Just cover me. Whoa. Can I go outside of the bubble? Oh crap! My health is going down. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a couple of things here. We want to... Damn, this is gonna be a heck of a mission. All right, put this in here. Let's use some swallow potion for sure. But we can't stay out of the out of this thing. Let's put a a Quen on Geralt, and then we want to use oh, Hearden. There we go. Because now, if they want to go up to her, they'll have to uh, take damage. That's a pretty good strategy, actually. Oh crap, they drop stuff? Ooh, give me that. No, wait for me, lady! I'm getting the loot! Oh, she's bringing the bubble over here, alright. No respect for the loot, huh? I'm gonna get some sad faces for that missed loot, ladies and gentlemen. No! It's right there. So close yet so far. Yeah, baby, these guys are weak to frost. Or to fire, rather. They're made out of frost. Just one more. Down our ear in. If you can throw the spell before you get into combat, it'll actually regenerate your magic almost instantly. Bye, because then we'll get the loot in. It worked. Good. Darian and I. Kira. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Uh Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not on your life. <laughs> mm. Love to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know, I know. We must go on. Sorry for the crunching noise. Uh, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. 
Oh, we can go back and get the loot. Yes. They are merciful. Can we get some hype for loot? Wow, they let us go back for it. Thank you, Kira. Oh. Come, we might still catch them. She was doing something while I uh, searched for stuff. Frost getting that hype, that loot hype. Secrets, ladies and gents, that's what it's all about. Thanks for your help. Pretty tough slog. <sighs> Good thing I came with you. You'd never have managed without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Yeah, never. Oh, wait, is that a secret? Hey, ladies and gents, we found a secret. Get it! What is this? Oh! We saved it just as we blew up. All right, don't, don't use a torch here. Lesson learned. Where's my cat potion? There it is. We're gonna use that instead. And I wanna see if we can get a, a level up. We can, okay. So we get a new skill now. A red one it has to be. When do we get these? We need to get three more points in the branch. I <laughs> think I love when you yell. That was uh, as scary as any horror game is the explosions in The Witcher. You never see them coming. Adrenaline point loss on taking damage. Time slowed. I don't need that. Strong attack damage is pretty good. Arrow deflection. I'm gonna max this thing out, muscle memory. Yeah, baby. All right. <coughs> run, 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 run. Okay. Now give me all this loot. Damn, game, you thought I wasn't gonna find this, didn't you? Well, you don't know me. Oh, crap! Just wonderful. What is this guy? A foglet. Okay, hold on. We gotta probably use a uh, Earden. Get in here. Get in here. Foglet. Oh, wait, not yet. You did it too soon. He's too good at following instructions. There you go. We got one of them. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. Are we get any good new armor? Minus 22, 35, 22, 19, 21, 24. Yeah, look at this. Oh, crap. Oh, look at that. For taking damage, my Quen actually destroyed itself. That's all right. He awaits us. There you go. Well. Send some hearts. This is it. Boss battle, baby! I don't think we've really had any boss battles in this game so far. We played like 50 hours without a boss battle. <laughs> uh oh. Oh crap. What did he do? Stay calm. Focus. Oh, Hounds of the Hunt. Okay. Get him. Oh, he healed himself. Marvin. 
Almost. We almost got him. Oh, we're so close. All right, maybe we have to use a uh, Eardin sign on him next time. Oh look, he's healing. Crap. Can we hit him with anything? No. I think it's just as long as he uh, his minions are alive. So he didn't get all his health back. Oh, because I have my... I get it. Almost! Yes! Oh, we chopped his head off! Are you well and whole? I hear... Unnecessarily. Let's look around. If I have my knickers on straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. Chernabog runestone, potion from Tirnalia. Oh, we got the Wild Hunt Warrior's sword. Cool. Damn, lady, give me a second to look around for loot. This lady's all business all the time. Except when she's taking a bath while we're trying to talk to her. That's when she's not all business. All right, hold on. We got another secret. Damn, you're trying to make me miss all these secrets, lady. We got our first boss victory, ladies and gents. Very good stuff. I wonder if he was supposed to be harder based on like whether or not you have leveled your character at that point. Because we've done a lot of stuff before fighting him. Wait, where this room does not seem to reflect what is on the map. That's weird. I wonder how you would, uh get through there. I'm not sure. Above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the elf, not about Siri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the Wild Hunt was on the elf's trail, and Siri would be safer if they did. The witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run in with a witch. Well, I, I had no idea you meant then. If I told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm-hmm. Can't imagine where that comes from. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. 
The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Kaer Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? Damn, we got a couple of uh, journals here. All right, let's read some of these books. Also, we got the Wild Hunt sword. What? It's not even as good as our existing... Come on, Wild Hunt, make some better swords. It's a steel sword. Yeah, ours is better. All right. Let's read some stuff. The ladies of the wood. The gods have abandoned us. The mighty of this earth care not for our fate. Only the ladies of the wood watch over Velen. In foul times, when plague and famine reap their harvest, we must beg the ladies for help. If they see fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. This is how one begs for help from the ladies. Find a child, young and innocent, and take it to Crookback Bog. Seek out the lady's shrine, which is where the trail of treats begins. Set the child off on the trail, and it shall follow the sweet track and find the good ladies. The child will never want for anything again, for the ladies are kind and generous. Stand before their shrine, pronounce your supplication, and the good ladies will hear. For they see and hear all that takes place in their domain. If you made the offering as it must be done, your plea shall be heard. Something tells me that's not completely truthful. After the white frost, sparing ash down dreamy hills, past sparkling waters, Tiernalia drifts, slowly, softly, silently, into oblivion. Sage lips blacken, frosted bones quiver. Before an ice-bound eye can blink, in distant skies I will watch your descent. The Elder Blood What exactly is the Elder Blood? According to some, it's a powerful elven curse passed from generation to generation. Those in whose veins the infamous Henny Chair flows are said to carry death and destruction within them, to sow hatred and disdain in the hearts of men. It was from this contaminated blood that Ithlian prophesied an avenger would be born, a destroyer of nations and worlds. Others claim the Elder Blood is an extremely rare inherited talent, granting control over time and space to a degree unattainable even to elven sages. Sadly, Few bearers of this gift have ever been able to control it in full. This merely partial mastery inevitably leads to sudden outbursts of the power that take the form of unpredictable, uncontrollable, and thus extremely dangerous explosions. Behind the dark legends about the curse of the Elder Blood lies the truth of these tragic cases. For obvious reasons, the bearers of the Elder Blood were always subjects of great interest to the world's mighty and to mages alike. The former counted on the truth of Ithien's prophecy, on an avenger being born who would destroy worlds and who they could thus use for their purposes. As for the latter, they hoped to harness the magic of Henike to broaden their own knowledge and powers. Ultimately, however, all these plans were for naught. The Elder Bloodline broke off with the disappearance of the heiress of the Nilk Guardian Crown, Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon. Oh. That's, uh, Siri. Alright. Let's look around. Well, the bear legend. The berserkers do not constitute a separate clan in terms of blood or lineage. 
They are instead a family forged by warriors who have heard the call of the bear and answered it by abandoning their loved ones and joining the community of mountain dwellers. Not every man who seeks to join it is accepted into the Brotherhood. The candidates must first pass difficult trials, which usually end in their death. The last trial is the hardest. It's called the trial, the trial of the bear's triumph. But few outside the Brotherhood have ever witnessed it, and none know what those who undergo it must endure. Quite curiously, the inhabitants of Skellige know themselves very little about the Berserkers, or the Vildkals, as they call them. They do not like to call, talk about these man-bears, not with outsiders, not even amongst themselves. Okay, we're not going to investigate the clues yet. First, we're going to get all the items. Introduction to Applied Magic. Magic is the science of harnessing, subduing, and making use of the power of the elements. It's also an incarnation of chaos, which is why no one without proper training should ever dabble in any of its domains. Expert mages make of magic an art, but the road to virtuosity leads through years of practice, study, and hard work, and requires a considerable amount of re required inborn talent. Magic was implanted in our world through the conjunction of the spheres, and was discovered to be a living, changeable, and controllable being shortly thereafter. The name of the first mage, the one who discovered this talent within himself and grappled with its power, is unknown. We do know, however, that in a relatively short period of time after the discovery of magic groups had begun to form, in which talent beings, talented beings could work together on developing their abilities. This period is usually considered the beginning of magic as a science, and these groups the prototypes of magic schools. The fundamental planes from which one might draw magic are earth, water, air, fire, in the tome, which you currently hold, each of these will have a separate chapter dedicated to it, ordered according to the level of difficulty and danger associated with the element discussed. I wonder which one's the most dangerous. Maybe fire. Yeah, probably fire. But who really knows with magic, right? We're getting a lot of diagrams. That's good, I guess. Okay, we have a lot of clues here. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. Give this a save real quick and ladies and gents that is gonna do it for the witcher 3 thank you everybody for joining the show on this short stream here and uh let's call that a show ladies and gents for uh for once we're not gonna raid because uh, i gotta head out of here but i will see you guys next time thank you all for joining thank you frost for being a part of today's episode thank you everybody uh anybody who doesn't know the channel it's called the voice of nick i play video games live three times a day and seven days a week it's all story focused games on here and uh, if you want to see which games are being played you can type exclamation mark games in the chat you'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now including the witcher 3 and if you like what you saw today don't forget to hit that follow button up top uh you will see it is at six out of nine so we are two-thirds of the way there ladies and gents now i will see you all next time we have three more video game shows coming up tomorrow and one secret stream if you can find it I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.